Hello everyone, in my last countdown video we covered the top 10 Kickstarter fails. 10 horrible, unoriginal ideas that were all destined to crash and burn. However, just because an idea is dumb, or weird, does not always mean it'll fail. So, today we're counting down the 8 weirdest ideas that made millions. Number 8 is the Slinky. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's the best of the toys. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, the favorite of girls and boys. Who would have thought that a simple spring would become such a popular toy? A naval engineer named Richard James dropped a tension spring he was working on and watched it slink across the floor, thus giving him the idea for the Slinky. James debuted the toy at Gimbel's in 1945 and sold the first 400 Slinkies in only 90 minutes. To date, the Slinky has made about $250 million. Number 7 is the Wacky Wall Walker. Ken Hakuta's mother gave him the first known Wacky Wall Walker as a gift from China. He found the toy interesting, bought the rights to it for hundred grand, and began marketing them in Washington, D.C. While sales were low at first, a mention in the Washington Post turned the Wacky Wall Walker into one of the greatest fads of all time. Within a few months, over 240 million were sold, making Ken about 80 million dollars. Number 6 is Billy Bob Teeth. These nasty looking dentures were created by a dental student and an ex-college football player, both trying to pay off student debt. Billy Bob Teeth became so popular, they made more products like zombie sandals and hats with hair, grossing about $40 million since 1994. Not only did they pay off their debt, they became millionaires. Number 5 is Big Mouth Billy Bass. While not that popular anymore, this thing and fish was a massive hit back in the late 90s and early 2000s. It was made by a toy company in Texas and spawned a few copycats like Boogie Bass and Rocky Rainbow Trout. With each Billy Bass costing about 20 bucks, they sold over 1 million in 2000 alone. Number 4 is Tamagotchi. Back in the 90s before games like Nintendogs came out, Tamagotchi was the biggest pet simulation out there. This egg-shaped keychain had a virtual pet inside that you could feed, play with, put to bed, and even clean up after. The Tamagotchi required near constant attention or else it would die. Yes, you can actually kill your pet in this game. As of 2010, 74 million Tamagotchis had been sold, grossing about $900 million. Number three is Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. The irony of it. A headache inducing commercial trying to sell you a treatment for headaches. That's good marketing. Head on was a homeopathic treatment, which basically means it doesn't actually do anything, but because of the placebo effect, it may make you feel better. Regardless of whether or not it works, the company behind Head on made a lot of money. Number two is the Snuggie, aka the what the f blanket. Even though it's basically a backwards robe, the Snuggie became a massive hit due to their ridiculous commercial. The Snuggie keeps you totally warm and gives you the freedom to use your hands. So now you can work the remote or read a book in total warmth and comfort. Use your laptop without being cold or enjoy a snack while staying snugly warm. People like Jay Leno, Bill Maher, and Jimmy Kimmel have all featured the Snuggie on their shows. The phenomenon has spun YouTube parodies and even a Snuggie pub crawl. Over 20 million Snuggies were sold in the first year alone. And to date, the creators have made hundreds of millions of dollars off a backwards robe. And finally, number one is the Pet Rock. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Advertising executive Gary Dahl would sell these rocks as a hassle-free pet. They came in a cardboard box along with a pet training manual. The pet rock was an instant hit making Gary Dahl 15 million in only six months, all from selling a rock. Now that is a true salesman. So there you go, those are the eight weirdest ideas that made millions. If you have any crazy ideas, share them with us down below. Anyways, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.